Good morning, baby. <sighs> How did you sleep? Oh, I'm glad. Mm. I slept well myself. You know, I'm really excited about today. I mean, how often do we both get a day off like this? Oh, I have plenty planned for us today. <laughs> Come on, let's go make each other a nice breakfast to start off our day. I'll even add in a nice cup of coffee for you. You remember how much I love strawberries, right? Alright, your breakfast is ready. What about mine? Oh, wow. That looks so good. You even remembered my favorite. Aww, baby. Let's eat. Yeah, that was delicious you really did a nice job it was so sweet and so yummy what about you did i make it the way you like it i'm glad by the way did you enjoy your coffee Oh, I'm very glad to hear that. I hope you don't mind, but we were out of milk, so... <laughs> I had to get... <laughs> creative. Well, let's just say, it's not milk from a cow, but... <laughs> rather a vixen. More specifically, a vixen with a cup size of 30J. <laughs> Aww, don't be like that. You didn't seem to mind reaching for them last night. Besides, just look at how big and round they are. It was a win-win if you think about it. On top of that... Think about how much money we save on going to the store for milk. Plus, it feels so good to relieve some of the pressure. <laughs> it always fascinates me how prude you humans can be. Especially compared to how you acted in bed. I actually couldn't walk for a bit after our first round. <laughs> I can't help it. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. Your cheeks just look like tomatoes and I just want to kiss them. <laughs> well, if you want to join me on the couch for some snuggles, I'll be waiting. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy your coffee. Hey, took you long enough. I see you finished the rest of your coffee. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I started watching one of those shows you keep on talking about. I can see why you like it. It's pretty nice. I love the pacing so far. It's pretty interesting too. Why don't you join me so we can watch together? Maybe... We can even... How you humans say... Netflix and chill? Mm. 
Mm. This is nice. Despite your lack of fur, you're just so warm and your arms just make me feel so cozy and safe. <laughs> My tail can't stop wagging. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to focus on the show if this keeps up. How about we save it for a rainy day? And... Mm, just cuddle for now. Well, since you've been such a good boy, I think I'll give you a nice treat. How would you like to fluff my tail? Oh, brrrr. Hey, uh, be gentle, baby. Um, my tail, it's sensitive. It really is sensitive. Oh. Mm. That does feel good, though. Hey! <laughs> Careful with those hands, mister. <laughs> no fair. You're touching my weak spot. <laughs> Try not to overdo it, baby. Uh, you know that spot makes me skittish. Mm. Oh no, not the ears, not the ears. Oh, you're so evil. <laughs> oh. mm. You know just how to make me melt, Master. Huh? Huh? Um, I said, Mister. No, I definitely did not say master. You must have heard me wrong. I'm not blushing. My... Uh, my... My fur just naturally becomes red in this light. Besides, I'm not going through my heat cycle and I still have some strawberries on my face from breakfast. Okay, I may have sort of, kind of called you master by accident. Please don't tell anyone though. My people find it especially derogatory when one of us call a human master. We may be a more passive species. But we still have pride, you know. You promise you won't tell anyone? Thanks, baby. It... It really means a lot to me. And... Just for that, I'll let you scratch my ear some more. And... Um, I... Might... Might... Call you master again. But only on one condition. You call me your good girl. Deal? <laughs> okay, baby. Get to petting.